Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. Today we're going to make simple wall art using drumsticks. Now, if you don't have 48 pairs of drumsticks lying around, we'll put a link in the description where you can order some on Amazon. This was inspired by artwork we saw in the Hard Rock Hotel room tour on the Super Enthused YouTube channel. This caught our eye and we immediately took screenshots to make our very own. The inspiration used 48 drumsticks, but after we laid ours out in the same configuration, we decided to double it to make ours a little bit more of a statement on the wall. Next, we counted the colors in the inspiration and noted how many of each, then doubled that. And for the colors we're using, we actually decided to use the different wall colors from my house. It's a great way to pull all the colors together and I already had the paint. It was too cold in the garage during this time, so we moved our operation into my house. We added a drop cloth and laid out all our supplies on my dining room table. This is the table we put adjustable legs on so we were able to make it a nice standing height. There's a link to that video right here in the top corner. We each painted three sets of sticks doing two coats. We cut a piece of wood to the length of the sticks that we will be attaching all the drumsticks to. We painted this the wall color so it will just blend right in. While all that dried, it was time to prep the wall. This is a project we installed a few years ago. We have recently become more aware of the dangers of lead paint and we decided we didn't want these old windows in the house anymore as they're most likely full of lead. I carefully removed each window and took them outside, later securing them for disposal. The wall needed a little patching and then a little paint. Back to the artwork. We followed the inspiration for the location of each color and the height. We face the wording up as this is going to be the back and it won't show. To secure the sticks to the board, we're going to be using construction adhesive. This is great because it has a little bit of thickness so it will help fill in any gapping. We prepared the tube and are using the Ryobi battery powered caulk gun to dispense it. I tested it out a little before I started, then added it to the board. I would have made this pattern a little bit tighter if I was to do this again. We added it to the middle of the sticks, making sure it hit each one. Then we added pretty much everything heavy we had to add some pressure to the top while it dried. We recently discovered this great product called Airtight on Amazon that extends the life of caulking products. It seals the bottom and the top, which is the secret to being able to use your tube again. And in fact, I used this tube just a couple days later for another project and it worked perfect. 24 hours later, we took a look at the artwork. Most were stuck in place besides a few on the ends that we're addressing here. The next day, we turned it over and added a French cleat to the middle. This is the best way to hang heavy items on the wall and was left over from the windows I took off the wall earlier. We found the center point and added the cleat. Next, we found the center point on the wall and added the other part of the French cleat. The cleat just slips right on top of the wall cleat and holds securely. We found a few artwork LED lights on Amazon and we added those to the top. Each one takes three C batteries. We drilled a pilot hole, added the anchor, and screwed the mounting plate to the wall. The lights can be turned on at the source or with the included remote. What we learned! In all, we used 96 drumsticks, which is actually 48 pairs of drumsticks, and we obviously ordered them from Amazon, but you know, if you're a musician, then you might have 96 just lying around, so this would be great, a great upcycle project to use with those old drumsticks. As I showed you in the video, this was an inspiration from something we saw in a YouTube video, and I thought, I felt like I had to recreate it as in the picture, which made it a little more 
difficult than it maybe should have been. And I wished in hindsight I had just played with it and made the pattern my own. Something Mom and I have been doing in our downtime is watching a lot of Disney YouTubers and people that go to attractions around Orlando because that's something that we enjoy doing, but as we're not traveling right now, it's kind of fun to see those uh, those and experience them virtually. Um, so one of the things is we've done a lot of things inspired by things we've seen at theme parks before. And it's kind of cool that we can still get inspired by theme parks and by other other travels um, through other people. So, you know, what, what inspires you? Let us know in the comments below. One of the big debates about this project between Steph and I was were the colors. And the inspiration piece used six colors, so we wanted to try six different things. So we tried a variety of colors, and Steph was ready to paint right away. I said, no, 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 let's wait. Let's take them to your house and look, a minute, look at them in this space and see how they look. Well, they didn't look good, and then I suggested that we use the same colors that we use in the paint around our house. And actually, it turned out absolutely perfect. So any place that you look in the house, there's a, there's a complimentary color someplace in the room where it just looks like it goes here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share this with uh, somebody in your life that you think would be interested, maybe a musician, maybe a homeowner that just wants some really easy artwork. Uh, so thanks for joining us. And if you want to see two more drum inspired projects that you can see them right here, we made some uh, end tables out of actual drums. Bye. Bye.